Hola chuladas, welcome to the Curious Katie channel. So I'm excited to share with you all my first haul slash review on natural skincare products. The reason why I wanted to do a natural skincare product uh, haul review was because growing up, I've been using the products from the drugstore like Neutrogena, Proactive, Clean and Clear, you name it. Girl, I've tried it. In the past, I've had a lot of issues with acne. I get acne everywhere, on my chest, on my shoulders, on my back, on my... Uh, yeah, you don't want to know. In this channel, I will be promoting Mexican products made both in the U.S. and in Mexico. And you might be wondering why I'm doing this. To prove I'm a true Mexican. To prove that I am a true Mexican. To prove that I am a true Mexican. No, but really, I am Mexican. American. Mexican. Let's start the video, shall we? On my last trip to Tijuana, TJ, I stopped by Botanica, which is a store that sells more traditional and herbal remedies such as candles, medicine, etc. Well, this first soap bar I have is called Miel de Abeja. Guadiuva Arregene... Oh, Guadiuva. Ooh, I learned a new Spanish word. A regenerar el cuero cabelludo y en el tratamiento de afecciones de la piel. Let's go ahead and open it up. All right, opening this puppy up. Oh shit, is that a honeycomb? So let's do this. It's slippery. Um, let me tie my hair before I do this. Ugh, it's getting in my eyes. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It's digging! <laughs> Alright guys, I'm back. Um, I'm feeling better. Let's actually try it now. It smells like those Mexican laundry soap bars that have that like clean spring smell to them. face feels squeaky clean you know when like it's like it's easy to rinse off of my face but would I put it ever in my eyes again no the second one is called Arcilla and it's the face mask um, Arcilla has the following ingredients Tiene silice, alumina, sesquio, sido de hierro, anhidrio, titanico, fosforo, magnesio, oxidos alcal alcalinos Sodio and potassio. So, it says plantas medicinales y productos para naturistas extenso surtido en plantas del país y extranjeras, las cuales son escrupulosamente seleccionadas de las cosechas más recientes para garantizar el cuidado de su salud. You will need scissors to cut the bag. You'll need a brush to spread the mask all over your face, 100 millimeters to mix with the mud, and you'll need a mirror. I went ahead and just cut a little bit, and we're gonna pour, I'm just gonna eye it, honestly. Um, I think this is too much water. Oh, this is strong. <laughs> I feel like I'm summoning up some Aztec ancestors in this mud. Also painting my face all over again into a masterpiece. I made enough mixture for days. So 10 minutes have passed and I can't really move my face, but let's wash this off. The lady that was selling this product to me was like, oh yeah, this is gonna help you get rid of wrinkles. And I was like, does it look like I have wrinkles? Wiped off the mud from the mask and my face already like, I literally feel change already. It's softer, it's smoother, it feels refreshed, I feel like a new woman. The next product is Una crema humectante y nutritiva del Centro Botanico Santiago. 
eh, corteza 100% auténtica de pepes guauite. Vitamina E, lanolina, filtro solar, SPF 15. Okay, so they got you covered. Other side of this container it says árbol de la piel. Aplique crema Santiago diariamente y notará excelentes resultados preventivos y correctivos en casos de quemaduras por el sol, manchas de espinillas, acné, granos, rosaduras. So far, let's see how this smells. It smells like baby lotion and it's like very creamy. Let's see how this goes. It's a little strong for me. I normally like my face creams to like not have a strong odor to them. So now that I have this set on my face for about 10 minutes, it actually doesn't feel as like sticky. It actually feels really soft like a candle. Even though it doesn't have the ingredients label, I would say that this has less ingredients than a product at a drugstore would have. Of all of these products, I would probably only get these two. And here's why. While this is a good soap bar to just kind of refresh your face, it's not gonna do the, the hard working job that I need a product to do for my skin. Now this mask, even though it was recommended that I wear it um, in the morning and at night, I would probably only do it once a week. I wouldn't do it um, as many times as I was recommended to. And this last product, I actually would implement this to my routine. Um, and I would apply it in the morning because it has an SPF of 15. If you don't mind making the trip to TJ and uh, getting some tacos along the way, go for it. Or you can order them online. This only goes for 60 pesos, which is equivalent to $3. This one only runs for 80 pesos, which is equivalent to $4. Only runs for 50 pesos, which is equivalent to $2.50. All right, this wraps up my review for today. Let me know if you have any questions, comment down below. Please make sure you subscribe, like the video, and please follow me on my other social media. I will be reviewing these pills on my next video. They are called Vibora de Cascabel. If you have not seen my last few videos that reflect my obsession of the face, go check them out. What are you waiting for?